Section 1 Introduction We're going to delve into the world of transformer architecture, a key player in the recent advancements in deep learning. The typical way to build a deep transformer architecture is by stacking identical transformer blocks one after the other. However, each block is a complex entity, made up of various components that need to be arranged in a specific way to achieve optimal performance. Interestingly, the basic transformer block hasn't changed much since its creation, despite the attention it has garnered from researchers. In this study, we're going to explore if we can simplify the standard transformer block. We're going to examine the necessity of several block components, such as skip connections, projection, value matrices, sequential subblocks, and normalization layers. We'll question if these components can be removed without slowing down the training process, and what changes need to be made to the transformer block to achieve this. We believe that simplifying transformer blocks without compromising training speed is an intriguing research question for several reasons. Firstly, modern neural network architectures are complex, with many components, and it's not clear how these different components affect the training dynamics of the neural network, or how they interact with each other. This is particularly relevant given the existing gap between theory and practice in deep learning. Simplifying the neural network architectures used in practice can help bridge this gap. On a theoretical note, our work highlights both the strengths and current limitations of signal propagation theory, which has been influential due to its ability to guide practical design choices in deep neural network architectures. However, the current theory only considers a model at initialization and often only the initial forward pass. As such, it doesn't shed light on many intricacies of deep neural network training dynamics, for example, the benefits of skip connections for training speed. On the practical side, Given the high cost of training and deploying large transformer models, any efficiency gains in the training and inference pipelines for the transformer architecture represent significant potential savings. We show that it's possible to remove skip connections, value parameters, projection parameters, and sequential subblocks, all while matching the standard transformer in terms of training speed and downstream task performance. As a result, we reduce the parameter count by up to 16% and observe throughput increases of 16% at both train and inference time. Our starting point for simplifying transformer blocks is a study that shows that respecting signal propagation principles allows one to train deep transformers without skip connections or normalization layers, but at significantly reduced convergence speeds per parameter update. We first show that regulating the updates to values and projection parameters, or in fact removing them entirely, improves the performance of skipless attention subblocks and recovers the lost per update training speed. This removes half of the parameters and matrix multiplications in the attention subblock. In the next part of our study, we show our simplifications combine profitably with parallel subblocks, which allows us to remove all remaining skip connections and sequential subblocks without compromising per update training speed, whilst further boosting the throughput increase to be 16% in our implementation. Finally, we show that our simplified blocks improve when scaled to larger depths, work well in both encoder-only and decoder-only architectures, and that our findings also hold when scaling training length. Simplifying deep neural networks by removing block components has received a lot of attention, both in transformers and other architectures. In these works, signal propagation theory often acts as inspiration. For a pair of inputs, signal propagation theory studies the evolution of activation inner products at initialization, which can be tracked with their large limits. Several pathologies afflicting poorly designed deep neural networks can be identified as a result. For example, the activation norms may blow up or vanish, or the cross products may converge to a value independent of the inputs at large, in which case deeper layers of the model are unable to identify different inputs. Avoiding such degeneracies is important to allow for good training dynamics and generalization in deep neural networks. It has been shown that judicious use of weight initializations and architectural tools, like skip connections and normalization layers, can improve signal propagation degeneracies and the trainability of deep neural networks. Such considerations have motivated principled modifications with simpler architectures. For skip connections, it has been shown that transforming nonlinear activation functions in MLPs and CNNs to be more linear according to a given deep architecture can enable good signal propagation even without skip connections. Many works have considered simplifications or improvements specific to the transformer architecture. Most relevant to our work is the parallel block, which computes the MLP and attention subblocks in parallel for efficiency gains, with minimal performance loss. 
Other works have considered reducing the frequency of MLP subblocks or efficient replacements to softmax attention. Section Summary In this section, the authors investigate the possibility of simplifying the transformer block by removing non-essential components without compromising training speed. They explore the necessity of skip connections, projection, value matrices, sequential subblocks, and normalization layers. By removing these components, they are able to reduce parameter count by up to 16% and increase throughput by 16% at both training and inference time, while maintaining performance. The authors also discuss the limitations of signal propagation theory and the potential savings in training and deploying large transformer models by simplifying the architecture. Section. Three preliminaries. We're going to discuss the basics of a deep transformer architecture. This type of architecture is made up of multiple layers, each containing a transformer block. The most common type of block is the pre-layer normalization, pre-lane, block. We use this as a standard to compare the speed of training. The pre-lane block is preferred over the post-lane block because it offers better stability during training and better signal propagation in deeper layers. These transformer blocks process sequence representations as inputs. Let's say we have an input sequence representation with T tokens and dimension D. The pre-lane block will output a new sequence. This output is calculated by first normalizing the input sequence, then applying a multi-head attention, MHA, operation and a multi-layer perceptron, MLP, operation, both of which are adjusted by certain weights. By default, these weights are set to 1. The MHA operation allows tokens to share information with each other using a self-attention mechanism. This mechanism calculates an attention matrix, which can be thought of as a way for different tokens to interact with each other. There's also a mask involved in this process, which can limit the information a token can access based on the task at hand. For instance, in a GPT transformer, a token can't access information from future tokens. The term, multi-head attention, comes from the practice of applying self-attention on multiple different heads, each with independent parameters. These heads are then combined using a trainable square projection matrix. One of our key findings is that if we fix certain parameters to the identity matrix, we can significantly improve the speed of training and transformer blocks without skip connections. This also reduces the number of parameters and the computational complexity, thus increasing the efficiency of the process. Section Summary in this section, the authors introduce the concept of a deep transformer architecture and compare two types of transformer blocks, pre-lane and post-lane. They explain that the pre-lane block consists of two sub-blocks, attention and MLP, with normalization layers and residual connections, and the MLP acts on each token independently. They also describe the self-attention mechanism and how it allows tokens to share information. The authors highlight their key finding that fixing certain parameters in the attention mechanism improves training speed and reduces parameter count and matrix multiplication operations. Section 4 Simplifying Transformer Blocks In this section, we'll explain how we simplified the transformer block, starting from the pre-layer normalization, pre-lane, block. We used a mix of signal propagation theory and empirical observations to do this. We'll go through each step removing one component at a time, without slowing down the training process. We'll also provide an easy-to-understand explanation of our progress. We conducted all our experiments using an 18-block, 768-width, decoder-only model similar to GPT, trained on the code Parrot dataset. This dataset is large enough to allow us to focus on training speed, as we're in a single epoch regime with a minimal generalization gap. We used a linear decay learning rate schedule with Adam W., with a warm-up for the first 5% of steps. We tuned the maximum learning rate based on training loss, using a logarithmic grid. First, we considered removing the skip connection in the attention sub-block. Doing this without careful consideration can lead to a problem called rank collapse, which makes training difficult. To avoid this, we modified the self-attention mechanism. One method we used, called value skip init, modifies the self-attention matrix in a way that encourages a token to attend to itself more than other tokens. This is similar to how a pre-lane skip upweights the skip branch relative to the residual branch for good signal propagation at large depths. We also used an extension called shaped attention, which is also motivated by signal propagation. This method involves using trainable parameters and a constant centering matrix. We found that shaped attention slightly outperformed value skip in it, 
and we used it in our experiments on skipless attention subblocks. For any skipless block, we explicitly downweight the MLP branch. This is based on signal propagation theory and accounts for the fact that removing skip connections reduces the implicit downweighting effect of pre-lane blocks. Despite these modifications, we noticed a significant loss of training speed per step compared to the pre-lane block. To recover this lost speed, we reparameterized the value, projection weights. We fixed the initial weights to be random orthogonal to preserve the signal propagation achieved at initialization, and made the residual weights trainable and initialized to zero. We also downweighted the residuals, which biases the matrices to stay closer to initialization. We found that using smaller beta values with this reparameterization already restores much of the training speed loss in skipless attention blocks. To further close this gap, we initialized the initial weights to be the identity matrix, which is equivalent to orthogonal initialization when the attention subblock is skipless. This led to a consistent improvement over orthogonal initialization, matching the pre-lane block. In conclusion, we found that limiting the updates to the values and projections from their initialization replicates the effects of the attention sub-block skip connection and recovers the lost per-update training speed. We further discuss the difference in performance between identity and random orthogonal in the appendix. Section Summary In this section, the authors describe their process of simplifying the transformer block by removing components one at a time. They introduce modifications to the self-attention mechanism to correct signal degeneracies and enable training of skipless networks. They also propose a reparameterization of the value, projection weights to recover the lost training speed in skipless attention blocks. By initializing these weights to be closer to their initial values, they replicate the effects of the attention skip connection and improve training speed. Section 4.2 Removing Value and Projection Parameters We've discovered that it's possible to entirely eliminate the value and projection parameters, represented by W caret V and W caret P, without significantly slowing down the training process. This is achieved when both beta underscore V and beta underscore P are set to zero and the initial values of W caret V and W caret P are set to the identity matrix, denoted as I in this scenario. The performance of the pre-layer normalization, pre-lane, block is matched after the same number of training steps. This means that throughout the training, the value and projection parameters remain as the identity matrix. To further investigate this unexpected finding, we considered redefining W caret V and W caret P with the initial values set to the identity matrix, but now with trainable scalars alpha underscore V, beta underscore V, alpha underscore P, and beta underscore P. Starting with alpha underscore V and alpha underscore P equal to 1 and beta underscore V and beta underscore P equal to 0.2, we track the evolution of the residual skip ratios, which are the ratios of beta underscore V to alpha underscore V and beta underscore P to alpha underscore P. We found that these ratios converge to zero for most layers, suggesting that these redefined matrices W caret V and W caret P become the identity matrix during training. This implies that the extra capacity to perform linear projections using W caret V and W caret P is not utilized. We also track the trajectories for other scalar parameters, such as beta underscore ff, which did not tend to zero. Interestingly, the model with trainable w caret v and w caret p performed worse in terms of final evaluation loss than the model with w caret v and w caret p set to the identity matrix. However, this trend was reversed when the attention skip was reintroduced. As a result, we decided to remove the value and projection parameters W caret V and W caret P in our skipless attention subblocks by setting them to the identity matrix. The only exception was the first layer's value parameters W caret V underscore 1, which was the only ratio above 0.05. We observed minor performance improvements by keeping W caret V underscore 1, so we retained it while removing all other W caret V underscore L and W caret P underscore L for L less than or equal to L. We refer to the resulting subblock as the simplified attention subblock, SAS. Our full SAS block uses only half of the parameters and half the matrix multiplications in the attention subblock, with only query and key parameters remaining. This results in a 13% reduction in the total number of parameters in the models we consider in this section. In terms of training speed on an A5000 GPU, our SAS block already slightly outperforms the default pre-lane transformer. A more detailed analysis of efficiency gains in our simplified blocks can be found in the corresponding section. 
While we don't have a rigorous proof for why the training dynamics in skipless transformers converge to identity value and projection parameters, or why fixing such matrices to the identity results in no performance degradation and in fact trains faster, we offer some partial explanations. First, the fact that w caret v and w caret p are simply linear projections of the input sequence representations x could mean that the additional capacity provided by such matrices is not particularly substantial. This is supported by previous research which found that the product of w caret v and w caret p often has a dominant identity component in trained transformers. Furthermore, from a signal propagation perspective, there is no clear reason why initializing such matrices to be non-identity would be preferred to identity initialization, especially considering the additional matrix multiplication operations they require. Section Summary The authors observe that it is possible to remove the value and projection parameters in the attention subblock of the transformer model with minimal loss of training speed. By setting these parameters to the identity matrix, the model achieves similar performance to the original model. The resulting simplified attention subblock, called the simplified attention subblock, SAS, uses only half the parameters and matrix multiplications compared to the original model, resulting in a 13% reduction in the total number of parameters. Section 4.3 Removing the MLP subblock skip connection. In this section, we'll discuss how we further simplified the pre layer normalization, pre lane, transformer block by eliminating the skip connection in the multi layer perceptron, MLP, subblock. This was a more complex task. We discovered that making the activations more linear, as suggested by signal propagation theory, led to a significant decrease in training speed per update when we didn't use MLP skips and used the Atom Optimizer. We tried different initialization methods, such as the looks linear initialization with Gaussian, orthogonal, or identity weights, but none of them worked. Therefore, we decided to use standard activations, like ReLU, and initializations in the MLP subblock throughout our work. We then explored the concept of parallel multi-head attention, MHA, and MLP subblocks, which has been successful in several recent large transformer models, like POM and VIT-22B. In this parallel transformer block, the MLP and MHA subblocks each receive the same normalized input, which allows for more parallelization compared to the standard pre-lane block that processes subblocks sequentially. The outputs of these two subblocks are then added together, along with a single skip connection with a weight of 1. This parallelization, along with the removal of one skip connection and one normalization layer, results in a 15% faster training speed compared to the standard sequential pre-lane block. We combined our simplifications with this parallel block by using our shaped attention subblock, SAS, setting the skip gain to zero to remove all skip connections in the block, and reducing the residual gain of the MLP subblock to less than one. We named the resulting block SAS parallel, SAS P for short. We found that SAS P trains even faster in terms of runtime compared to the SAS and pre lane blocks, and matches the training speed of the parallel block despite using 13% fewer parameters. We believe that the combination of shaped attention and identity values projections maintains the signal between blocks throughout training and eliminates the need for a skip connection in either subblock. Next, we considered removing normalization layers, which resulted in our simplest block. From a signal propagation initialization perspective, it's possible to remove normalization at any stage of our simplifications. The idea is that normalization in pre-lane blocks implicitly reduces the weight of residual branches, and this beneficial effect can be replicated without normalization by either explicitly reducing the weight of residual branches when skips are used, or biasing attention matrices to the identity, transforming MLP nonlinearities to be more linear. As we account for these mechanisms in our modifications, there is no need for normalization. However, Removing normalization allows even our simplest transformer block, which does not have skips, sequential subblocks, values, projections or normalizations, to match the training speed of the pre-lane block in terms of runtime. We did notice a slight decrease in training speed per iteration, suggesting that normalization layers have some beneficial properties for training speed beyond what is captured by signal propagation theory. Therefore, we consider our SAS and SAS-P blocks, with normalization, as our main approaches. Interestingly, we found that adding extra normalization on the queries and keys improved training stability in VIT22B, contradicting the recent trend of researchers trying to remove normalization. Section Summary In this section, the authors discuss the removal of skip connections and normalization layers in the MLP subblock of the pre-lane transformer. 
they found that making activations more linear resulted in a loss of training speed, so they opted to use standard activations and initializations. They then introduced the idea of parallel MHA and MLP subblocks, which improved training speed compared to the sequential pre-lane block. Additionally, they explored removing normalization layers and found that it allowed their simplest transformer block to match the training speed of the pre-lane block, although there was a slight degradation in training speed per iteration. Section 5 Further Experimental Analysis In this section, we delve deeper into the experimental analysis of our simplified blocks. We've already discussed the simplifications we've made, and now we'll present more experimental results in various settings. We'll also talk about the efficiency improvements that our simplifications bring. For more experimental details, please refer to the original paper. Let's start with depth scaling. Signal propagation theory often concentrates on large depths, where signal degeneracies typically occur. So, it's logical to question if our simplified transformer blocks can maintain their improved training speeds at larger depths. Our experiments show that when we increase the depth from 18 to 72 blocks, both our models and the pre-layer normalization, pre-lane, transformer perform better. This suggests that our simplified models can train faster and make better use of the additional capacity provided by more depth. However, the value skip init model trains slower at a depth of 72 compared to 18, despite having more capacity and parameters. This indicates that the previous method doesn't scale well with larger depth. It's worth noting that 72 blocks is already quite deep by modern standards. Next, we tested our simplified blocks on different datasets and architectures, including the popular bidirectional encoder-only BERT model for mask language modeling. We used the crammed BERT setup, which is designed to train a BERT model efficiently on a single consumer GPU within 24 hours. We replaced the pre-lane block in the crammed architecture with our simplified blocks, and kept the existing optimized hyperparameters, except for tuning the learning rate and weight decay. Our simplified blocks match the pre-training speed of the original, crammed, pre-lane baseline within the 24-hour timeframe. However, removing skip connections without modifying the values and projections significantly slowed down the training speed. We also found that our methods matched the performance of the crammed BERT baseline after fine-tuning on the glue benchmark. Interestingly, the value skip init model was able to recover from its poor pre-training performance during the fine-tuning phase. This suggests that factors other than pre-training speed are also important for fine-tuning. We did notice that removing normalizations caused instabilities during fine-tuning, with some sequences in some downstream datasets having NAND values in the initial forward pass from the pre-trained checkpoint. In terms of efficiency, our models used 16% fewer parameters, and the SAS-P and SAS models were 16% and 9% faster per iteration, respectively, compared to the pre-lane block. The parallel block in our implementation was only 5% faster than the pre-lane block, suggesting that further speed increases might be possible with a more optimized implementation. Finally, considering the current trend of training smaller models for longer periods on more data, we wanted to see if our simplified blocks could keep up with the pre-lane block's training speeds during longer training periods. We trained our models on code parrot with three times more tokens, specifically around 120k steps with a batch size of 128 and sequence length of 128, which resulted in around 2 billion tokens. Our simplified SAS and SAS P blocks continued to match or outperform the pre lane block in training speed when trained on more tokens. Section Summary The authors provide further experimental analysis of their simplified transformer blocks, demonstrating their improved training speeds and efficiency gains. They show that scaling the depth of the blocks leads to increased performance, and that their simplified models can train faster and utilize the extra capacity provided by more depth. The authors also demonstrate the performance of their simplified blocks on different datasets and architectures, including the bidirectional encoder-only BERT model, and show that their models match or outperform the baseline in terms of training speed and performance on downstream tasks. Additionally, they detail the parameter count and training speeds of their models, showing that their models use fewer parameters and are faster per iteration compared to the baseline. Finally, they investigate if their simplified blocks continue to match the training speeds of the baseline with longer training, and find that their blocks continue to match or outperform the baseline in training speed when trained on more tokens. Section 6 Discussion In our discussion section, 
we'll address the limitations of our study and propose areas for future research. While our simplified models have proven effective across various architectures, datasets, and tasks, they are relatively small, with only 100 to 300 million parameters, compared to the largest transformers. It would be intriguing to explore how our simplified blocks perform at larger scales. This is particularly interesting because reports suggest that parallel blocks perform better than pre-layer normalization, pre-lane, blocks as the scale increases. Our experiments with depth scaling have already shown promising results in this direction. On the theoretical front, we've managed to match the training speed of pre-lane blocks even after removing normalization. However, there are still some unresolved issues. For instance, we're not entirely sure how normalization contributes to training speed and stability. We also found that we couldn't remove normalization without negatively affecting the performance of downstream tasks. Additionally, while we adjusted important hyperparameters like the learning rate, we may have overlooked some default hyperparameters and choices that we inherited. For example, we used the Atom W optimizer and a fine tuning protocol that might be too closely tailored to the default pre lane block. A more thorough search for hyperparameters for our simplified blocks could lead to further improvements. Lastly, from a practical standpoint, we believe that tailoring our simplified blocks to specific hardware could enhance training speed and performance even more.